forest. A forest? Tell me about this forest. What do you see? Trees. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Like apple trees. Apple trees. Mm-hmm. What else do you notice? It's quiet. It's quiet. Mm-hmm. How does it feel in this forest with apple trees? Safe. Safe. Mm-hmm. And as you look at these trees, from what perspective are you looking at them? Are you below, above? How do you see them? Below. Below the trees. Mm -hmm. So I want you to focus on the observer of these trees and tell me, in this place that's so beautiful and quiet, do you feel that you have a body there? No. No. So if you don't have a body, we can easily move around and see what this place is. I'd like for you to begin traveling through this place and see what's so important about it. What do you love so much about this place? The smell. The smell. Tell me what it smells like. Fresh apples. Mm -hmm. Flying around. Mm -hmm. Are you flying around the apples? Through the trees. Through the trees. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's cool. Mm -hmm. As you fly through these trees, how big do you feel? Small. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I can hide in the trees. You can hide in the trees. What else can you do in these trees? Protect them. Mm -hmm. Do you protect the trees? I love the trees. Mm -hmm. You love them. Tell me how you protect the trees. My love. With your love. Mm -hmm. And light. And light. What light do you use? White. White. Mm -hmm. So as you're flying around these trees protecting them, how do you send this white light to them? My heart. With your heart. It's beautiful. Tell me more about what you do. I don't eat it. You don't eat it? Mm hmm. Do you eat anything? I don't think so. You don't think so. Take a look at yourself, and as you're flying around, do you feel like you have a, any type of a body there? Any type of form. A little body. A little body. Describe this little body for me. Like a tiny human. Mm-hmm. Tiny human. Are you male or female? Female. Female. Tell me more. With a wrap, a loincloth, mm -hmm. and a little wrap around my top. Mm -hmm. What does your face look like? It's cute. Mm. Describe yourself. I have dark hair. Mm -hmm. I have blue eyes. And I like flying. And you like flying. Where do you fly to? Fly all over. Mm -hmm. 
What's the highest that you go to? I can go above the trees, mm -hmm. but I don't like to. Why is that? It's not as safe. Hmm. What would happen if you are above the trees? What could happen to you? Predators. Hmm. Can eat you. What are you afraid of? What kind of predators are there? Big birds. Mm-hmm. So how do you keep yourself safe? I stay in the trees. Mm-hmm. And think there's more of me. Take a look around and see if there are many more of you or any others. There's more. There's more. Do you communicate with them? Yes. Mm -hmm. They help the trees too. They do. Do you have any that are your friends? We're all friends. We're all friends. So let's find out a little bit more about you. I'd like for you to go now to a time in that same lifetime when something very important has happened. Be there now. Where are you? In the forest, but my heart's heavy. Tell me what happens. Something hurt the trees, or is hurting the trees. Let's find out what's hurting the trees. What is it? People. People are hurting the trees? They're taking the trees. They're taking the trees. How are they taking these trees? Chopping them down. Chopping them down. How does that make you feel? Heavy. Mm -hmm. What happens when they chop down a tree of yours? It cries and I cry. Mm. So tell me what's happening. What do you see? I don't know why they're doing it. But my heart hurts. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? What do you do? I think some of the other friends have left. They've left? Where have they gone to? Other trees. Mm -hmm. What do you do now that your trees are gone? Try to move on. Mm hmm. But my heart hurts. Mm hmm. I'll find other trees. Can you help the trees if your heart is hurting? Not as good. No, because. You are helping those trees with your white light from your heart. What does your heart look like now? Gray. Gray. So if you try to love these trees now, 
What would happen if you send it light? A lot would happen. Mm. So what happens to you? I want you to continue in your life and see what happens. Where do you go to next? Go to find the other. Mm -hmm. You go to find the others? What happens? Where are they? They're in a forest. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. They're in a forest. But my heart still hurts. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Go to the last day now. And tell me where you are. On a leaf. Mm hmm. What's happened? I'm curled up. Mm hmm. What do you feel? I can't help. You can't help anymore? Like. They took my light, too. Who took your light? The same people who took the trees. How did they take your light? My light was in the trees. Mm. So part of you living is, is the trees? You give each other light? Mm. I, 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 the others could move on. Mm -hmm. I'm so sad. You were so sad. I couldn't move on. So what happens to you now? What happens to you on that leaf? You give up, all right. So take your last breath. Take your last breath in that life and allow yourself to separate from that little body. And as you separate, tell me what you see now. My body. Mm hmm On the leaf. Going through the trees. Mm-hmm. Through the clouds, mm -hmm. higher than I normally could fly. Mm -hmm. What do you see from there? The sun. Mm -hmm. How's it a feel to see the sun? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Tell me everything you see. Where do you go to next? The stars. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be among the stars? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Is there anyone there to meet you? like I'm just in space. Mm -hmm. I feel like I am a star. You are a star. How does it feel to be a star? Very bright. Mm -hmm. Do you feel bigger than before? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Good. Mm -hmm. and from a star, what do you do now? Radiate mm -hmm. so much more light than before. Mm -hmm. 
Where does that light go? To the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Does your light help others? It helps other stars. Mm -hmm. And then we help others. Wonderful. What kind of light do you radiate to the other stars? Gold and white. Gold and white. Mm -hmm. What do you do as a star? Shimmer. Mm -hmm. Absorb all of that feeling in. That bright light. So much bigger. So much brighter. So much more powerful. Absorb that light within yourself. So much love. Very good. So now let's close that scene. And let's move on to the next memory. The next lifetime that impacted you. I'd like for you to travel through time and space. To another time. Another place. Be there now. On the beach. On the beach. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Quiet. It's quiet. What's around this beach? Shells. Mm -hmm. I like the shells. Mm -hmm. As you look at these shells, from what perspective do you see them? Above. Above. Do you have a body in this place? I don't know. Mm hmm So let's find out what else is on that beach. What's the importance of this lifetime? Where is your attention drawn? A woman on the beach. A woman on the beach. Describe this woman for me. She has white hair and a white gown. Mm -hmm. She radiates light. Mm -hmm. What is she doing on the beach? Calling to me. Calling to you. Let's find out who she is. Allow yourself to integrate with her mind to mind, soul to soul. Who are you on the beach? I am her. Let's find out who you are. What is your name? What do you go by? Omira. Omira? Omira? What are you doing on the beach? Healing the beach in the ocean. Healing the beach in the ocean. What do you use to heal the beach in the ocean? Sound. Mm -hmm. What kind of sound do you emit? When I speak mm -hmm. or sing. When I speak or sing? 
What happens? Makes the sand golden. Makes the sand golden. And the waves sparkle. Mm -hmm. Oh, Myra, what is it that you're doing there? What is your role? Do you just take care of the beach? No one else is there, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Is this your beach? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is this place? What do you call it? Home. Home. Tell me more about yourself, Omira. I have a headband with seashells. I have a headband with seashells. The smell of the salt is very relaxing. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm also heals me. It heals you too. So both of you are healing each other, it yeah. seems. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Myra, let's see where it is that you live. I'd like for you to close that scene and be in the place where you live. Be there now. Water. The water. Do you live inside the water? A, a cave. A cave. Mm -hmm. But not just in the water, in and out of the water. In and out of the water. Tell me more about this cave. Can you describe it for me? It's small mm -hmm. and safe. And I like to swim in the ocean mm -hmm. and walk on the sand. Mm -hmm. Now you tell me that this cave is safe. Who would hurt you there, Omira? Do you have those that would hurt you? If they saw me. People don't understand. Mm. And I look different. What do you look like? I'm tall. I have white hair and light skin. Mm hmm What's different about you? I glow. You glow. And these people that would see you, what do they look like? They're humans. They're humans. Oh, Myra, where are you from? Where do you come from? Z something. Mm hmm. Is this another planet? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Can you spell it for me? Uh, 
Ziat. Zenek. Zenek. When I say the word Zenek, did that sound right? Yes. Is this where you're from? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Omira, what planet are you living on at this time? Earth. Earth. And how is it that you came to be on Earth? To help the ocean. To help the ocean. Where did you come from? Did you appear there? I was sent down with light. You were sent down this with light. All right. So, Myra, let's find out who sent you. I'd like for you now to go to the time before you came to Earth, when you were on Zenek, and you were discussing the plans to go to Earth. Be there now. Describe this for me. A room. A room? Of people. Mm hmm That glow. They look like me. Mm hmm So these people that are there, are they male or female? Male. Male. And what is the purpose of this meeting? To help the ocean of Earth. To help the ocean of Earth. Are you connected to the ocean of Earth? I love water. Mm-hmm. So what's happening with the ocean of Earth that needs help? It's dying. It's dying. Is this something, information that you received from the ocean or from somewhere else? They said it was dying. They said it was dying. So, what happens next? What do they discuss about the ocean? Someone has to go help the ocean. Mm -hmm. And I love water, mm -hmm. so I would go. All right. So, Mina, you volunteered? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, did you get any information about where you were going and what you had to do? No, I would know. You would know already. What is it that you do on this planet, Zenic, that you already know how to heal the water? I heal and I teach there. You heal and you teach there. What do you use to heal? Light mm -hmm. and love. Very good. Do you have family there? No. No. So let's see what happens next. How do you get transmitted from Zenic onto the Earth? Through light. Through light. A golden light. A golden light. Is this something that you create? They were. They sent me in it. They sent you in it. And how did you know where to live? They sent me down, and I found a cave, and I could feel that the water hurt. Mm -hmm. Do you need to eat anything? No. No. So how do you survive? Love. Mm. Concern. For the ocean. Concern for the ocean. Keeps me going. Okay. So just your mission and concern is what keeps you alive? Yes. Very good. So let's find out what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and now go to the next important scene of this lifetime on Earth and tell me what happens next.
What do you experience? What's happening? I think some kids saw me. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? Scared. Mm -hmm. They're throwing shells. What happens next? I can get away. But I have to be safer. Mm -hmm. So where do you go? Back to the cave. Mm -hmm. And in the water. I stay more in the water. Mm -hmm. Are you able to swim easily in the water? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you breathe in the water? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Close that scene and let's move forward to another important time in that same lifetime. Swimming with the dolphins. Swimming with dolphins. And as you look at your body, does your body look any different than before? Mm. No. 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 Mm hmm. And everywhere I swim, there's golden white light behind me. Mm -hmm. Are you leaving a trail? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what does this golden white light do as you leave this trail behind you? It heals the mm -hmm. coral. Mm -hmm. It heals the fish. The water. It cleans the water. Mm -hmm. What do you find that is in the water? black things. Mm -hmm. What are these black things? Are these physical things? No. Are they energy? This looks like energy. Mm -hmm. What does this black energy in the water do? Suffocates it. Mm -hmm. How has this black energy been created? Somebody put it there. Mm -hmm. How is that done? Something is sending black energy. Something is sending black energy. Mina, are you able to detect where this black energy is coming from? No. No. But I can see it. Mm -hmm. Where does it come from? Is it from the earth or outside the earth? From Earth, but I think also outside. Mm -hmm. And this black energy 
Does it suffocate anything else besides the water? Does it do anything outside of the water? The fish. Mm -hmm. The fish are feeling it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you swim around with these dolphin, radiating this beautiful light, what does it look like as you look behind you? Beautiful. Mm. Where I've gone. Mm -hmm. Does it extend out? It does. Mm. It doesn't go away. It doesn't. So how much of this light can you extend out today? A lot. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and begin sending that light out into the oceans. I want you to use all of your energy to send that out around the globe. See that light as it expands. Tell me what happens. Dissipates the darkness. Mm -hmm. Makes the fish happier. Mm -hmm. and the coral can breathe better. Wonderful. How often do you need to do this? A lot. Mm -hmm. The waves take it back out. Mm -hmm. so it exchanges it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and now move further on into your life and see what happens next. I'm older, but I'm still there. Mm -hmm. What do you do now? I do the I do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I've lived my life there playing in the oceans mm -hmm. and walking on the sand. How do you keep from being found? I'm in a desolate area. Mm -hmm. And if I need to I can go in the water. Mm-hmm. And how has your mission on Earth helped? The ocean looks better now mm -hmm. where I am. The fish are appreciative. Mm -hmm. The sands still golden. Wonderful. So now, oh mine, I'd like for you to go to the last day of your life on this mission. See yourself there and tell me where you are and what you're doing. Okay. With the light. With the light, very good. And as you continue with the light, like for you to look back at this lifetime on Earth and tell me how it is that your mission helped planet Earth. We stored the oceans. Mm -hmm. Made things much happier. Mm -hmm. Took away the darkness. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, as you continue on that journey, I'd like to ask you how it is that that lifetime is affecting the lifetime of Lisa now.
wants to do that. She wants to do that too? Save the oceans? She wants to use the light like that. Mm -hmm. What's keeping her from using the light? Confusion. Confusion. Let's find out what it is that's confusing. Lisa, where is that confusion beginning? I'd like for you now to go back to the time before Lisa was confused about that light. Take her back in time to when she was younger, before she was confused. Let's go to that memory and be there now. Is it daytime or nighttime in this memory? Day. Daytime. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? Alone. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Young. Mm -hmm. Acclimate yourself completely into that body and see yourself there now. How old are you? A baby. A baby. Mm -hmm. Now as a baby, what is clear in your mind about your light? Mm -hmm understand it. You don't understand it. Let's look around and see if there are any there that are there to help you with this light. Look for your guides. See if there's anyone there. People. People. Who are these people? I don't know. Mm hmm. Take a look at them. Connect with them telepathically, mind to mind. Let's see who these people are that are with you. They have robes on. They have robes on. Mm hmm. What else? The robes are tied with rope. Mm hmm. They're big. They're big. Mm -hmm. You can connect with them with your mind. Let's find out who they are. Helpers. Helpers. Mm -hmm. How many do you see? Eight. Eight of them. So as you connect with these eight helpers, do they know what your light is to be used for? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's have them tell you, remind you what that light is all about. Spread it. To spread the light. Mm -hmm. And how are you, a little baby, to know how to spread that light? my heart and my mind. Your heart and your mind. Very good. So I'd like for them to remind you now how to do that. I want them to show you, to remind you. Begin using your mind and your heart now. 
and tell me what happens when you send that light out. And bursts. Mm-hmm. And what happens to those that receive your light? Don't always know. They don't always know. Do you receive anything? Do you feel anything when you send out that light? Full heart. A full heart. Feels good, doesn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's ask your helpers what you should do as you grow up. What can you use this energy for? your heart to make people happy Mm -hmm. to make people happy have compassion Mm -hmm. to heal them to heal them spiritually Mm -hmm. So let's have your helpers tell you what was the purpose that you chose to come into this family now as a baby? What did you come here to do? Be light. To be the light. Very good. So now I'd like for you to grow yourself up a little more, now knowing how to use this light and let's go to the next significant event in the life of Lisa where she was confused once again be there now how old are you there? Nine. Nine. Very good. Are you alone or with others? Alone. Mm -hmm. Look around you. Where are you? My room. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Sad. Mm Mm-hmm. Other people can use their light too, and they don't, and it's confusing because they don't either. Are you using your light? No. Mm-hmm. What has caused you to turn off that light? Life and reality. Mm-hmm. So let's take a moment now and center yourself and allow you to connect with those eight helpers once again. Allow yourself to be in that room. And tell me when you see them. They're there. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for them to give you some advice. Her to don't be scared. Mm-hmm. But I am. They say don't be scared, but I but I am. Tell tell them why you're scared. I don't understand them now. Mm-hmm. So now I'd like for you to connect mind to mind and heart to heart with those helpers and I want them to remind you of your mission on earth now receive that information into your heart and tell me what you hear you can heal people it's 
open your heart. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin opening your heart now. Extending it out and allowing that light to flow. And tell me how that feels. Like when I was a star. Mm -hmm. Like when I was a star. Beautiful. So now that your heart is open once again, and the memory of the star has returned, I'd like for you to close that scene and let's move forward again to when you're older and find yourself confused once again. Be there now. Where are you? The beach. The beach. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? With others. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? That's making you confused. I feel like I could help, but I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as you're in this scene, I'd like for you to once again connect with your heart and bring down those helpers. Tell me when you see them. Mm -hmm. And as you communicate to them your confusion as to not knowing how you can help, allow them to give you the answer. Forgetting. Mm -hmm. Pushing it away. Pushing it away. What do they tell you? You have to remember. Mm -hmm. So let's open up that heart again. And tell me what you do. it through my body. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to follow that energy and see how that energy affects all those around you. What happens to their energy field as you send it out? brighter. Mm -hmm. They just feel better. They feel better. Very good. And now you know this is the energy that you came here to use. So now let's close that scene and let's move now into a time closer to this time period to where Lisa is once again confused about what she needs to do. See yourself there now. Where are you? Work. Mm-hmm. 
so much darkness. Mm-hmm. But when I talk to people, something happens. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to see visually what happens when you're speaking with them. So, I guess. Dancing through the sound waves. It's dancing through the sound waves. Mm hmm. And how does it affect them? Their mood. Mm hmm. They feel safe and comfortable. Mm hmm. So even in the place of darkness, you're healing all of those that you speak with. So I'd like for you to see, through a different perspective, what you do as you sit in that place of darkness. What do you do to the environment? I raise the light. Mm-hmm. Raise vibration. Raise light and raise, raise vibration. It's no different than when you swam through the ocean in that darkness, leaving a trail of golden light, healing it. Do you see it's the same thing? It's the same. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to project yourself into the future and see yourself now as you are in this lifetime in a lifetime ahead see yourself now projected a few years out now knowing how to use this energy projecting that light out of your heart affecting all of those around you and tell me what you experience in what you see Joy. Mm -hmm. Joy and love. Mm -hmm. And then they do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you've caused an effect that continues to ripple out like a pebble in a pond as your energy expands out. It helps heal all of those as it continues down the line. How does that feel? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to take that image and make it yours. Understanding now that that is your purpose. You came here to remember to use that light. Whether you are flying through the trees as a little flying fairy or you're in the water healing the oceans, you are here to send out that light. Nothing has changed. So as Lisa sees this life ahead of her, she wants to know what she can do with her life, how she can meditate better, what modalities she can use. Work outside. Mm-hmm. So this work outside should be should she be doing it as a job? Or she should be using her energy outside? She 
Both. Both. Good. Now she knows that she's used her light work on Mr. Peeps. Should she be expanding out to others now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Will this course that she will be taking help her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And when she visualizes, she uses gold with white light or pink with purple light. Which one should she be using? Gold and white. Gold and white. Very good. What about crystals? Should she be using crystals in her healing work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any particular ones? Clear quartz. Clear quartz. Mm -hmm. What is it about the quartz that will help her? It's the same vibration. Same vibration. She told me that she woke up a few months ago with the word labradorite in her head. What does she need to know about labradorite? It's a healing path. Mm -hmm. A healing path? To wear as a reminder. As a, wear it as a reminder. Very good. As a healer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And why is it that when she was a young child, when she would see things, she felt that she was seeing the scenes in her mind, the scenarios, and it even gave her a sick feeling. What was that all about? Something. Mm -hmm. Could you get, get a connection, a better connection, and see why she is seeing these scenarios in her mind? Something's putting it there. Something is putting it there. This something that is putting it there, is it something that she created or something that's attached to her? Attached. Would it be beneficial to speak with this that is attached to her? No. No. Why would it not be beneficial? Not necessary. Not necessary. If something is attached to her, rewiring her mind, giving her thoughts, why would it not be beneficial? Is it afraid to be found? No. What is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's afraid to be found. Where is this attachment? Her heart. Her heart. Okay. So I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to use my energy to move that energy out, 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 out. And you can express yourself. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? John. John. How old are you? Eighteen. Eighteen. John, what year is it for you? 1957. 1957. John, how is it that your body died? Murdered. Murdered. Who murdered you? A friend. A friend. After you were murdered? What happened to you? Why did you not go home? I was bad. You were bad. Did you think, John, that you would not be welcomed home by the Creator? Yeah, hell. You felt you needed to go to hell? Yes. Mm hmm But instead, you found whom? Lisa. Lisa. How old was Lisa when you found her? Three. Three. What was happening at three years old that allowed you to attach to Lisa's heart? Bright. Bright. She was bright. Open. She was open. Mm -hmm. Did she allow you to come in? No. No. So you weaseled in. Yes. And what have you been doing to her all of this time? Scaring her. Why are you scaring her, John? Too bright. She's too bright. 
So are you afraid of this light? No. What is it that you want to do to Lisa? Dark. Darken her. Mm -hmm. So why is it, John, that you feel so dark yourself? I kill people. You kill people. What did you do, John? Murdered. You murdered people? For fun. For fun. I see. And then what happened? And then they caught me. Mm-hmm. Who caught you? A friend. Mm-hmm. Fight. You were fighting. You were fighting. Mm-hmm. Now, John, as you can see, there is no hell. You're stuck here in a woman's body. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But, John, there's a better way. There's a, way, a better way to feel better. You see, you are attracted to this light for a reason, just like a moth is attracted to the light. Too bright. Mm-hmm. Well, did you know, John, that there is a light just as bright inside of you? No. There is. You just haven't seen it. You've been so busy trying to darken her light that you haven't even noticed yours. Yours is just as bright. Take a look, it's right there. It's right in your heart. You see it? It's there. And the more you look at it, the bigger it gets. Because you're as bright as she is. I see. Mm -hmm. Look how big it's getting. Look how big it's getting. The bigger it gets, the better you feel, John. Feel how it feels in your body. Warm. Make it bigger. Feel how wonderful that love feels. You see, John, that is the love of the Creator. Doesn't matter how many people you killed, you will always be loved. You will always be welcomed home. Feel the love. Feel the warmth. Doesn't that feel wonderful? Yes. Mm -hmm. John, can you forgive yourself all this time of not enjoying the love of the Creator? For punishing yourself and punishing others? For just wanting that love? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me, John, to take away all of that pain that you've been feeling all this time? Please. All right, I'm going to put my hand over your heart. Give me all of that pain you've been carrying for so long. Not feeling loved. Feeling angry. Killing others because you were hurting. That's no way to feel love. All this time, you had all of that love from the Creator right there in your heart. Give it all to me. And we're sending it home. Tell me when I have all of that pain. Yes. Let's take that, John, and send it to the universe for healing. And now what would you like to tell Lisa? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Now, John, I'd like for you to connect to her heart and pull out all of your energy there and look through the rest of her body and see if there are any others that are there any other energies no no so let me speak with Lisa now Lisa do you forgive John for not knowing any better yes so let's send them home with light and love John, I'd like for you to focus on that light. And now I want you to go up through the top of her head right here. And I always call in Archangel Michael for this. He's there waiting for you. John, take a look at Archangel Michael and tell me what he looks like. He's 
bag. Mm -hmm. What does he tell you? Come with me. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and go with him, John, and tell me when you get to the light, when you get back home. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody there to welcome you? My mother. Mm -hmm. Give her a big embrace. What does she tell you? She's happy I'm here mm -hmm. and I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Very good. John, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you so much. And now, let's take a look at that heart. And I'd like for you to go ahead and begin filling that heart with that golden light. Sealing it. Allow it to connect directly to source. And feel the healing of it. Tell me how that feels. Great. It's wonderful. So now that we understand that this is what prevented her, that it made her see all these scenarios, why is it that some of her dreams have been so vivid in, in her life? Feels that she's helping people sometimes? She's traveling. She's traveling. She could only do it that way without John. Ah, okay. So now that John isn't there, how will she be traveling? She'll still travel in her dreams. Mm-hmm. She can do it here. She can do it here. Very good. Now, why is she seeing all these natural disaster type events in her dreams? Is that John? Or was she seeing something no. else? She was helping people. She was. Was this on Earth or elsewhere? Elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't stay here on Earth. She travels among the stars? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Do you have any information about this dream that she's had? About the primordial Om? During her ascension on one life. Mm. So this ascension that she's feeling, is it a different lifetime? A different place? A future. A future. Is it on Earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it in this lifetime? Yes. Okay. So can you tell her a little bit m more about this ascension? Not to worry. Not to worry. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Can you tell her a little bit about the new earth? Has she ever visited it? Yes. Mm -hmm. She teaches. What is Can you speak a little louder, please? She teaches. She teaches on the new earth? But she likes our earth. Mm. So does she go back and forth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Will she eventually be on the new earth all the time? Yes. Mm hmm with her family. Good. Does she need to make any type of lifestyle change for this new earth? Keep doing what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Practice. And practice. Does she need to practice with her heart? Yes. Mm-hmm. So she needs to be doing the same thing as the fairy and Omira? Yes. Okay. Good. Now, we talked about those guides in the robes. Are these her spirit guides? Yes. Mm hmm And there seems to be eight of them. Yes. Do each one of them have different functions, or do they all help equally? They all help. They all help. Now, she told me that she saw what seemed to be the part of an angel wing when she worked on Mr. Peep's. And his foot was healed. What happened there? It was a message mm -hmm. to keep asking for help. Very good. So she has to continue asking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stronger. Stronger. Make it's, it even stronger? It's, your healing is stronger mm. with help. Good. So she needs to always remember to ask for help before she does any healing? 
Yes. Any Reiki or any other thing? Yes. Good. It makes it better. It makes it better. Is she working with any spirit animals? Birds. Birds. Mm-hmm. How do the birds help her? Show her to fly. Mm. Now she has a sort of bird as her child, Mr. Peeps. She's kind of afraid of letting Mr. Peeps out. She's afraid that he's going to get sick. He won't. He won't. So what should she do? Should she allow him out on the lake? Mm hmm. Good. Is there a way to connect with Mr. Peeps now? Yes. Mm hmm. He's good. He's good? Good. Would Mr. Peeps show his mom what he wants from her? Hopes he'll hurt. Mm, he does. But I can let, let out and heal. Anything else that Mr. Peeps wants mm. her to know? Thank you. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, she says that um, she had an interesting thing happen to her when she lost her engagement ring. She saw little children, a little child's footprints. What footprints? A little girl. A little girl. What was that? Helping an aspect. Mm. Was that an aspect of her? Yes. Mm hmm so how she, was she helping? Show where it's at. To show where it's at? Oh, not alone. That she's not alone. Mm-hmm. So did she materialize herself as this little girl to help herself? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is this one of the things that she does? naturally to help. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else you need to tell her about that? No. Okay. Will she ever find her engagement ring? No. No. All right. Good. Now she wants to know what her superpowers is, and I think whether we have hit home on that one. Is there anything that she does besides this healing with her heart? That's best. What else can she use? Anything else? Reiki. Reiki. Mm -hmm. Does she have any psychic abilities? Yes. Mm -hmm. How can she use that in the future to help her? Welcome. Welcome it. Welcome it. Trust. Mm-hmm. And look, look inside. Look inside. And talking about these psychic abilities and superpowers, how does her third eye look? Open. It's open. Good. Does it need any work today? No. Good. Thank you. Where did her soul originate? We talked about that that planet. Zenic. Is she from there or is she from everywhere? All aspects. All aspects. So there's an aspect of her who is a star? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this life of, Zen uh, of this woman from Zenic, is this in the present time or is it in the future? Past, present, past. or future? In the past. Okay. How far back? A long time. Mm -hmm. And were the oceans dying then? Yes. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. What was causing the oceans to die then? Bad energy off planet. Off planet. Was that eventually healed? Helped. Okay. So how can Lisa now help with the ocean? She, can she do the same thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you give her an example of what she could be doing with the ocean to help? Touch the water. Mm -hmm. When she touches the water, does it affect all of the water? It glows and goes with the waves. Mm. Wonderful. So wherever she goes, she should touch the water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would it help if she does the same thing when she's even running the faucet at home? Yes. Mm -hmm. So should she get into a practice of healing that water? Any water. Any yes. water. Okay, good. Now she recently learned to watch the prana, prana, and she finds that she saw some black swirly things inside the prana. What's in the ocean? Ah. It's bad energy. Bad energy. So why was she shown these black swirly things? So she can help. Mm-hmm. Needs to help. So she can recognize where to help. Mm -hmm. So this was an exercise that was given to her? Yes. All right. So next time she looks up in the sky and sees this black energy? Send light. Send light. White light. Mm -hmm. Does she need to imagine anything besides the light? No. No. Good. Now she says that she, um, there was a premonition that was given to her. Is this the same thing that we were talking about? Yes. Okay, good. Is there anything else from that conversation that she needs to know? She needed to hear it. She did. Why? If it got her scared. Yes. Mm hmm to get her here. Ah, okay. So sometimes things are done so that you can take action? Yes. Okay, good. Now what's going on with her body? Need to... to. Be lighter. Mm-hmm. It's exaggerating the weight. So she heals. Would you explain that to her, please? You can also heal yourself. She wants to know what's going on with her back. There's numbness down the right leg. What's causing that? Confusion. Confusion. Well, today we dealt with a lot of confusion. Can we take a look at that back and tell me if there's any confusion left there? No. No. What about the teeth and the gums? Not talking. Not talking. So let's find out what she did with her teeth and gums. What did she create in there? Problem. Problem. What does this problem look like? D decay. Mm hmm That she sees outside mm -hmm. the world that doesn't talk to change it. Ah, so she's bringing that decay inside of her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she need to have that anymore? No. All right. So what can she do to go ahead and transform that decay? White light. White light. So let's uh -huh. begin using that white light. 
and tell me when it's completely gone. Very good. Now we all know that when we, our house is very dirty and we clean it, if we don't take care of that house, it's just going to happen all over again. It's going to get very dirty. So what would be the best way that Lisa could keep from having her teeth decay again? Keep speaking mm -hmm. the truth. Keep speaking the truth. Don't hold your tongue. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about her spirituality? Yeah. All right. So go ahead, go ahead and begin talking about it. Mm -hmm. What about the bruising in her body? At night. Mm -hmm. She brought back things that happened off planet. Mm. What was she bringing back with her? Injury. Mm-hmm. Does she need to bring that back anymore? No. All right. So let's create a ritual for her so that when she travels, she can leave all of those injuries at the door. What can we create for her to put all of that in when she returns back to this body? Suitcase. All right. So go ahead and tell me what this suitcase looks like. Brown. Brown. Mm-hmm. And where we're going to keep this suitcase? Under the bed. Very good. So I'd like for you to see yourself now coming back from one of your travels to another lifetime, another aspect of you. And rather than keeping all of those injuries on your body, slip out that suitcase and put it all in there. And what can we use in that suitcase to, to help heal all of those injuries? gold like very good so let's keep a ball of gold like in there please imagine it being like a big ball of light just sitting in there so when she throws all her injuries in there it can heal them magically immediately can we see her doing that now yes good what's causing the heaviness in the chest John John what about the anxiety John John and what about the intestinal issues that she's been dealing with? John. Very good. Does she have any implants? No. No. What about her aura? How does that look? Intact. Intact. And her chakras? Oh. Open. Open. Very good. So she has a question now about what happened with her menstrual cycle. She says the last month it was 10 days apart and it seemed to have been aligned with the cycle of the full moon. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Why is she now going with the cycles of the moon? Welcome her healing. Mm -hmm. So the moon knew, she knew that she was going to begin using this her help. heal. Uh-huh. So is there anything that she needs to do, any rituals, practices, or crystals that she needs to use for this upcoming full pink moon? Rose quartz and clear quartz. Really wonderful. Good. And what will that help her with? Healing her hearts. Good. And you say hearts more than one. Aspect different aspects. How many aspects of her does she have running around? Many. Many. Does she have any aspects of her within this own, this same life that she's living now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. How do they affect her? Can 
Confusion. Mm, confusion. It bleeds. Mm-hmm. So can this aspect of her connect with those and help them and remind them? Yes. Mm-hmm. Can we do that now, please? Yes. Let's connect with all those aspects of her, hers that are confused, so that they don't bleed into this one. Grounding. Okay. What does she need to do to ground? Trees. Mm-hmm. Be with the trees. Be with nature. Okay. How often does she need to be with nature? Every day. Okay. Does she need to do anything, any rituals or anything important with those trees? Sit with the trees. Sit with them. Well, we can see that as a little fairy, this was a very important part of her. How is that aspect of the fairy life affecting her now? Sad. Sad. Can we help send that little fairy some light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's do that now. Connect with her. And let's fill her with love and light. So that her gray heart continues to shine. And she could find more trees and not give up. Yes. Thank you so much. Now talking about her body again. Does eating meat of any sort or alcohol consumption of any sort lower her vibration? Yes. All right. Would you tell her about that, please? To, to heal, you have to be light and clean. You can help others. Help yourself first. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little difficult for her since she likes to go to a steakhouse and have a nice steak and a drink. How will this session help her? change. She will see it's important and worth it. Mm -hmm. Good. Can I ask on her behalf for a guide that will remind her of this and help her with this journey so that she doesn't have that desire, that craving for that meat and alcohol? Yes. Thank you. And now talking about her job. She's been with the same company for nine years. Why hasn't she moved on? She feels stuck. It's so dark and needs light. Okay. So does she need to be there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Will she eventually be doing something else? Yes. Okay, good. What about now? There, her brother. She wants to know if her brother is the soul reincarnated from her cousin David. No, mm -hmm. but aspects. He's an aspect? Yes. Mm -hmm. To be with a family. A love. To be with a family. Mm -hmm. For love. For love. Is he getting the love in this aspect of himself that he didn't get as David? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that he wants to convey? No. No. Good. Good. And um, she wants to know how to make the lives of Louie and Tucker a little bit better. Anything she needs to do there? No. Good. Good. Her body is going through some weird experiences, weird sensations. Why is she feeling all of this throbbing, bursts of energy, electricity, Pain. Char charging. Charging. She's charging. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you can tell her about this? Ch charging to help of the light. Mm -hmm. she, she, she can heal more. lighter. Mm -hmm. It's okay. 
these heart palpitations, all of this is okay? Yes. Okay, it's natural. Is this part of the ascension? Yes. Would you tell her more about the ascension now? She she saw what she needed to see. Mm -hmm. She understands. Okay. Good. Well, she'd like to thank all of those that protected her and Michael in the car accident 17 years ago. She's always been very curious as to what happened, that they didn't go over the bridge. She has the scars to remind her, but she's very thankful that it, none of these scars are visible to others. Would you please explain to Lisa what happened on that day of that car accident? It wasn't your time to go. Mm -hmm. You were taken out of the car and put back in. Mm. Good. The car was stopped. It wasn't his time either. It wasn't his time. It was an accident. Mm -hmm. So now that Lisa understands that when it's not your time, it's not your time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can she go through life with less fear, with more confidence, knowing that you've always got her back? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you why you brought Lisa to this session today. What was so important that she needed to hear? Heal mm -hmm. her heart and remind her. Mm -hmm. She can help. She has to help herself. First. First. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this has been accomplished today with this session? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her that I didn't ask? No. No. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. Welcome back. <laughs> wow. <sighs> wow. <laughs> You're feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. What a difference, huh? Wow. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. How long do you feel you're on this journey? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Well, we're on an, an hour and 43 minutes right now. A little bit long. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> wow. Wow. Unbelievable, uh, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You remember any of it? Yeah. It, it is amazing how everything ties together. Well, the dots are connected, aren't they? Yeah. And that explains those feelings. And J John? John. Mm. John was like, no, no, I don't think we want to talk today. And yeah. I like, yes, I think so. I think John wanted me to throw my laptop off the balcony when mm -hmm. I was doing the questions. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Amazing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I really felt like it was literally 10, 15 wow. minutes. Wow. <laughs> so now you know. Yeah. So do you want to share some of this? That's crazy. Or do you want to keep it private? Um, we can share it. You want to share some of it? Yeah. We could take out any personal think. parts that, that you feel shouldn't be out there. <laughs> yeah, if it was longer than 10 minutes, then. <laughs> there should be more in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. You did great. That's, that's just a, a, it's so incredible. Mm -hmm. How's your body feel? Mm -hmm. Vibrating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, let's switch those stones up. Let me give you the shungite so at least you can start grounding yourself. Oh. How do they feel? <sighs> Much the better. Energy? Yes. Mm -hmm. I like encapsulate your hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you're from the earth. That's, that's You're connected amazing. with the earth. 
That does explain a lot mm -hmm. in my tree huggerness. <laughs> this little fairy? Yeah. You remember yourself as this fairy? Yeah. And you were um, zipping around oh. the apple trees. Do you remember that? Wow, yeah. And then people started cutting the trees down and it pretty much destroyed you. Yeah, I could feel like I could feel it in my heart and mm -hmm. it felt like I still kind of carried that. Yeah, that's why you hug the trees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that make sense? It does. It, it all does. Makes sense. It, yeah. You're still doing the same thing that you did in, in those lifetimes. Wow. That is, that is, and when we were walking around here, like every tree, you just want to touch now you and know love. Why. Yeah. Now you know why. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So we are in San Antonio, Texas, and we had such an amazing <laughs> session here. Wow. 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 So right. it was more than 10 minutes. That's incredible. <laughs> I still think you're lying, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> so I'll what do take you, your word. What do you remember? I remember the fairy. Not the fairy with going around the apple trees. And yes. So here on the river walk, I've been touching a lot of trees. Mm -hmm. And now I know why. Now you know. You, you, needed, to, you, you needed to give them your, your, your my, heart. My, yeah. Your light. My love and light. Yeah. And then this, this woman from this other planet. Oh. Do you remember that one? Yeah. That she was making the, the beach golden yeah and when she swam when you were swimming huh. you had this light that healed do you remember that vaguely mm. vaguely wow I'm shaking <laughs> She's shaking it's like trembling like a leaf so how do you feel about this experience it, it was amazing mm -hmm. it blew me away yeah blew me away. and in a few months you'll be taking the course yes so Lisa's going to be taking the introspective hypnosis course with Antonio Sanjo and myself. We're going to do a live course, and we're going to be learning how to do this. That's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'll believe you that it was longer than <laughs> Well, you'll have, you'll have the recording. There then. you go. So do you re recommend this experience to everybody? Yeah, absolutely. How, did, how does absolutely. your body feel? My body feels very light mm -hmm. and shaking and shaking Very and this is what shaky. happens a lot when you're vibrating <laughs> because there's so much energy that is being that's going through your body still even after the session you're still you're still bringing that energy through you wow. i think you feel it right? yeah oh, even yeah. though you have your shun guide here yeah <laughs> <laughs> so lisa you came all the way from Lakeland, Florida. Lakeland, Florida. And uh, I'm from Florida, too. So, but we <laughs> happened to meet in, in, in San Antonio. So this was an amazing experience. It, it really amazing. was. And we could see that we did uh, different techniques here today. We kind of looked into the future. And how did you see yourself looking yeah. into the future? Did you see that? That that was amazing. That gave me a lot of hope mm -hmm. and helps with the confusion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to the out of town page. On the bottom, you sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter comes out about once a month. And that's where I send out links to the calendars where I'll be. Uh, I could be anywhere around the world or I could be in Miami, my home office. And if you see those links, click on them. Super quick. Fast. Within <laughs> minutes. Okay. Yes. Nobody believes me. I I had to do that. Yeah. We, we waited and waited and waited. And as soon as it came yeah, up. Yeah. That's how it happens. Yep. Yep. So you really, you can't wait until like, you know, you finish dinner or anything. It's No. You, you, you go quickly. It's like getting front row seats at a concert <laughs> with like five available seats. <laughs> Yeah, it really is like five available things. <laughs> but anyway, that's how you sign up. And I hope I get to meet you someday soon. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> Give me that hug. Give me some of that shaking. Oh, mm. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You wow. did great, 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 great. That, that was incredible.